Hello, my name is PJ Capozzi, Superintendent of Schools from Meridian CUSD 223. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to the recap of the September Board of Education meeting. In September, our main focus is always to pass the budget. Budget fiscal year starts in each July, um, but per state code, we generally pass the budget in September, occasionally in August, but traditionally in Meridian, we pass it in September. This year's budget is um, horrible if you look at the uh, beginning number. It says that we have a $7 million deficit. But when you look deeper, it's actually a very good sound budget. The reason we have a $7 million deficit is a re as a result of the health life safety bonds we passed last year to do the work on the schools this past summer. We received the majority of those payments in May and June of last year. So last year we showed an $8 million surplus. This year, a $7 million deficit. Um, in total, we spent just about every dime of the health life safety bonds uh, that we procured through that sale um, to work on the buildings this summer. So we did exactly what we anticipate doing in a revenue neutral way. Um, in the operating funds, which is where we um, levy money and get different monies from the state, and those are the ones that we um, use on a, on a daily basis to make sure the district runs. That's our educational fund, operations and maintenance, transportation and working cash. We have over a $700,000 um, surplus projected for the end of the year. So, like I said, I think we're in a really healthy position. Uh, many schools around us are in a position of deficit spending. Um, we are still benefiting greatly from the fact that the community decided to support the schools um, with the passage of the referendum, um, even though when you take an initial look that the first number looks horrific, um, I assure you that everything is just fine. Um, other things of note or highlights from this board meeting, um, I would say the number one thing to, that took the most amount of time and engaged the most rich conversation um, was the consideration of uh, a request from the junior high PTO to consider bringing the Taft field trip back. Um, this prompted about a half hour worth of conversation um, and many more questions than answers. Um, so I've been directed by the board to go back and continue to work with the PTO, uh, present them a continuum of options of which they can um, weigh over the next several months. Um, and hopefully we get to a place where uh, we come to a decision that is sustainable. Um, that's our biggest concern right now is that um, we're trying to create a solution that's sustainable for kids for several years. And if we can't do that, then we don't want to jump in uh, and make a decision that's really good in the short term, um, but would leave the district in a position of either liability or um, just sadness in the future to potentially bring something back for one or two years and then have it fall by the wayside. Um, other things that just took place, um, in September, we are uh, supposed to, by school code, it's something that the district had neglected to do for several years, um, to go over compensation reports, which means the um, salary and benefits of every district employee um, are put on display publicly and discussed at the board meeting and then put on display um, on the website. So those are up now, um, and we discussed those. Additionally, uh, we passed a memorandum of understanding. Um, at the last minute we uh, of summer, we had several new kindergarten students enroll, which is great for the district. Um, more enrollment means more funding from the state, and it means that our district is growing. Um, but we added a fifth section of kindergarten as a result. And as a result of that move, we needed to add an uh, additional hour to what our uh, elementary PE teacher teaches. So there's a memorandum of understanding to provide additional compensation for that additional work. Uh, the last thing of note that we covered was we entertained bids um, looking at our natural gas rate. Um, certain districts um, belong to large consortiums that do that process for them, um, which those consortiums do a nice job because you don't really have to think about it and it keeps everything relatively steady for you. Um, we prefer to try to maximize how we spend our revenue so we continue to examine um, those prices and try to lock the district in at the best possible rates. Um, so we are working with um, Rock River Energy, which is a local company and plan on um, locking in rates. Currently, it looks like we will be able to lock in rates for um, 24 months that are cheaper than what we currently have. So we are happy with the progress and considerably cheaper than what the large consortiums offer. As always, any questions, uh, particularly regarding the budget or anything else that was discussed, um, please feel free to contact me via email or cell phone, 815-980-0310. Thank you and make it a great day.